As you saw there in that intro, we are going to be talking about witch farms in today's video. And in today's video, we're talking about this witch farm. My personal very special witch farm that spawns so many witches that this perimeter has to be needed if you want to get the rates that I got. And yeah, it's a pretty simple farm. So if you're wondering, one wonder wondering if the roof is here for it's to encourage pack spawning. We'll talk about that a little bit later. This time I will actually show you how to build it. Or summit like it. So yeah. So but first I'm gonna talk about the farm itself. And thankfully, we're, I mean, I've installed a mod called Carpet Mod, which will allow me to keep this AFK player right here just standing there. And basically, we have the three floors of the original Witch Hut. And as you can see, I've cleared out all the area around here to encourage the maximum rates. These three floors here spawns about, about, about 500 witches per hour. So I just ran an MSPT, Tick Warp. And up here is a redstone clock that takes care of when the witches are to be flushed and when they are to be spawned. And then they'll fall down this 33 block drop to their deaths and get counted in this lime concrete right here. If we were to check the counters lime, as we can see, we have that. And, the, and we can get about 1,526.3 items per hour. Actually, that seems a little bit low. Hmm, we're supposed to get, get seeming to get about the same rates, about three stacks of whatever our numbers are. Well, actually now that I think about it, it kind of makes sense, because witch farms are kind of slow, because you only have three layers to spawn mobs. And that can really affect your rates. So, yeah. I will show you guys definitely how to build this farm in today's video. So, yeah. First, you need to go out and find a witch hut, though. Alright, so I have located a witch hut, and the witch hut actually is just over yonder. Which is actually kind of nice. Let me just come over here for a second. The witch hut should be somewhere around here. Aha! Here is our witch hut. And so now we have found our witch hut. <laughs> what you need to do now is spend hours upon hours trying to take out 128 <laughs> blocks in all directions.
All right, now that we have finished taking out the perimeter around this, we just need to fix our little witch hut. Something happened, and somehow this happens. Don't worry, though. It's not a problem. We're just gonna fix it like this. I will take out this thing in a minute. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna place a black carpet down, and we can see the type of mobs that are loaded. Now we're just going to go to, where is it? We're looking for red wool. And if we were to place this black carpet on top of red wool, 544-493955. We'll have to figure out where that is. Thankfully the cave that I'm in front of right now seems to be that only cave that's lit. And this area as well. But thankfully there's still a place to be torches around and hopefully we're able to fix it. All right, I have lit up those caves. I'm just gonna see. Zero mobs out of 70. That is a great thing. Okay, so there's a few drowned spawns. But thankfully, well, I'm actually not really sure where those drowned spawn. They might be spawning over there. That is fine. I'm going to take out this rope now. All right, so now that we have our finished product here, we have the entire perimeter cleared out. We're now going to work on building up the witch farm. So, based on my knowledge, we are actually going to be using some oak planks with this, because, yes, because this is made out of spruce planks. The top block that witches spawn on is this block right here. So, if I had to just build up a little perimeter around here, and I'm actually going to be building a thing up in the sky, because that actually induces mob spawning, so we're going to do that in a second. All right. So, witches do, in fact, spawn where we have found, so that is a good thing. Alright, we have the first platform done, and what, and what you want to make sure is that each platform is inside the witch hut and is 8 blocks long and at least 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks wide. And kind that's kind of the area of the witch hut. Not quite. It's actually nine blocks, but for my design to work, you're gonna you're gonna lose one spawning space. Basically, now I'm gonna do that for this part as well, and there's be three layers to this thing, which shuts spawning layers. One, two, and down here is a third. All right, now we have our floors in position. Now we have to build the walls. This thing, remember, these walls are gonna be two blocks high. And the top floor of these things is going to be these stone slabs right here. So I'm gonna make sure. It covers, make sure they're only first half, and you want to do that. Alright, so now we have the chamber pretty much ready for witch spawning. Except for one thing, is that we now need to make the dispensers that go across the top here. What you want to do is you want to go one block out in the direction that you would like to go. It's going to build one block out here, and then you're going to go get a dispenser and a water bucket. And you're just going to place them just along the lines like this. And for each floor, you're going to make sure you fill them up with the water buckets. Otherwise, then you will have a problem. Alright, there we go. We have all the places in place and the redstone is in the back. And if you're wondering why these slabs are here, mobs can actually still spawn here for some reason. But with these slabs in place, now they shouldn't. Now the only ones that should be spawning is the ones that should be spawning inside our witch farm. These all have water buckets in them. What we want to do next is actually a little bit different than what you would have than what you would expect and that is to do something like this which is to redirect some redstone down here yes so that way we can well that's cool so they now there then we can power these two layers and i'll show you what we can do next and so there we go. And as you can see, now the water dispenses out. And it's just for some reason, this piston did not fire. Ah. And why did it not fire? Oh, that's why. That's why. There we go. So all the platforms are filled with their eight blocks of water. And this is where our witches are going to be spawning. So all you need to do is you need to go 32 blocks down in all directions down here, and that's where the witches are made to killed. However, I recommend going 34 to make sure every single witch will be killed. And after we've made our simple collection chamber, I think I went a little overkill on the drop height. That's okay, that's okay. It doesn't really need to be that low, but I did that just 
for fun. And basically now the farm is pretty much complete. It was a quick farm design. And now I'm going to spawn my AFK player right at the top here. This is where this is a simple command here. Where is he? It's probably my first command. Player C spawn. Go into spectator mode. And now we can just watch as these witches just start flowing in here. Once the platforms kill off, there should be some spawning. I guess that was a dud spawn. I mean, pretty sure the player's like 24 blocks away. Yeah. Plenty more. Actually, what level is he at? 112. Alright, that should be fine. So in theory, some witches should spawn. Yeah, there's one spawning there. Oh, there's two more. And if you're wondering why, why we need to do glass spawns and the big thing instead of just solid box around it, glass us just some something to do with pack spawning. And what pack spawning is, is that when I'm out originally trying to spawn, the game tries to spawn a pack around it. And, and solid blocks cancel pack spawns. So glass blocks fixes that. And just want to make sure that all around here... It's all zero sky, zero block. All right, nice. So, oops. Whoa, uh-oh. Guess I forgot a block. You have to make sure though that you literally spawn proof literally every block. Otherwise, any mobs could spawn. Remember, we don't want that inter interrupting our farm. So here we have it now. Every once in a while, you might get like one or two witches, but most of the time you might, you'll, you'll get pretty much more than that. If you ever have problems trying to find mob spawns, well then get out your black carpet and your red wool on the ground and place red wool, place black carpet. And there is a creeper somewhere. Where must this creeper be? I'm not 100% sure. It means that there's probably a cave that I haven't taken out. I have found our creeper. <laughs> Goodbye. That should solve it, and the problem is that that was a solid block. It should not have been a solid block, so I'm just gonna fix that now, importing a stone slab. Boom, that should fix our spawning problems. Hallelujah! Yay! Yay, it's all done. It should all be fixed. Nice! So now we have maximum spawns from our witches now, there should be nothing here. It should take up the mob cap at all, if you ever feel like there's mobs coming over here and now all there is are four drowns so that's okay four drowns aren't too bad and yeah so 70 mobs per player per the mob cap otherwise then I, would, then I would take wouldn't have taken out perimeter but that is pretty much the witch farm itself done so if you guys liked the video leave it a like and if you really loved it make sure to subscribe my name is engineer and the engineer is out of here see you guys in the next one with another Easy Farms tutorial. Well, by the way, there's a world download in the description.